Hello, hi, it's me, Karen, your favorite booktuber, and I am so happy because I have read all 13 International Booker Longlisted books, and today it's an exciting day because we're going to be talking about a system so magnificent it is blinding. Before we talk about today's book, I have a riddle for you, if you would. What do cicadas, a moral monkey, a guinea pig, art, eating disorders, and climate change have in common. Are you guys stumped? Because let me tell you, they don't really have anything in common except for the fact that they all feature prominently in this book for no reason. Yeah, I said it, I went there. So this is a system so magnificent, it is blinding. In this book, it is melodrama, it is a sitcom, not a sitcom, sorry. It is a soap opera. If you like Days of Our Lives, General Hospital, EastEnders, maybe this will be your cup of tea. If you want, I just, this book wasn't for me. I think that's what it is. But it, you know, I don't know who it really is for because there's just a lot packed into this book. And on one hand, that's quite an accomplishment. On the other hand, it does detract from the reading experience. This is a story of three siblings who are triplets and they are all like, I don't know, in their late 20s and they're kind of separated because about a year prior, a huge traumatic event happened and they're not as close as they used to be. Admittedly, they kind of were going down this path of separation, but that event really made things go faster. We have two girls and a boy. The boy has just moved to London. He's a really smarty pants guy. He's working at this secretive little research center where he doesn't know what's happening. And he has case studies because the people like to analyze people's brains. And so this lady comes through and she's no longer seeing in 3D, things were going flat and they get into an affair, okay? It's not that big of a spoiler, like it's, it starts very early in the novel. And then we have the other two sisters. One is in a relationship with a guy who has a daughter and she has synesthesia. She's one of those people who sees like colors very prominently instead of like for feeling, she'll see a color for people, for things like that. And that's a big part of the narrative. And then the third sister just got laid off and she's gone to the ends of the earth to follow this guy who's kind of started up a little bit of a commune and they're doing their thing. And then because their mother calls and she's like, kids, you need to be together and I have to tell you this big, huge family secret. And then they're like, uh-oh, da 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 But the thing is, is that in this day and age, that problem could have been solved like this and the book could have been a lot shorter. We could have focused on other things, but yeah. That's not what happened. Instead, we had this novel, which is exploring kind of Point of life, climate change factors into it. So does Dakota Fanning, and I don't think she needed to be in here at all. She didn't really add to the narrative. We're maybe exploring family and the sibling relationship. If you were to say that last year's books, More Than I Love My Life and The Book of Mother, were really using motherhood to explore the lens of family, that's not the case here. Yes, the mother is present, but she's a very distant figure who's doesn't really do much for the narrative except for relaying this one piece of information. This is family through the lens of siblings and it didn't do a whole lot for me. That's what I have to say. That's all. That's it guys. I would love to hear if you liked this book, if you loved it, if you were gunning for it to be on the short list. Why did you think that? Why did you feel that way? I could maybe say that these large melodramatic family situations aren't really for me because for whatever reason i don't know but i would really like to hear what you thought about this book and why you liked it if you did and if you didn't let me know that too okay thanks for watching